So, hello and welcome people back to Let's Play Forbidden Siren 2. Why not Forbidden Siren 3? We may get to that one. Major. I'm so scared. I'm beginning to think maybe this is all just a dream. I mean, perhaps I'm going mad. Why don't you try shooting yourself in the head? If it's a dream, you'll wake up in your nice warm bed. And if not, well then, it's all over. Pretty sure we can't trust the major. Pretty sure. No, no, that doesn't seem that way. And now we're gonna help another character who we can't really trust. There is more than one way to save Yuri. Yeah, uh, there is one way that's uh, easier, and the other way that's uh, a little bit more difficult. Remember that lamp? They 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 very clearly hinted to towards that one. That's the easy way. There is another way where you can just uh, sort of walk down there and. Now this is. Focus. Uh, we now get the introduction to a recurring character in uh, all of the missions. I hate her. Uh, she is a unique Shibito. You may remember her. Uh, you may remember her kimono. We have seen her when she still wasn't a Shibito. Yes, this is where I want to go. There isn't much of anything important here, except open these doors. Oh wow, so many coin lockers. Okay, we're gonna need to scour the floor for sparkling objects. Uh, sec, folks. It will take literally ages to get all of the uh, all of the keys. But yeah, yeah, we can't we can't we can't call anybody. And as you can maybe hear, uh, she's already awake. She does have a neat weapon. Uh, it is important to always switch to the shittiest weapon you own uh, when stealing a, uh, when stealing a weapon from the enemy, because otherwise you may just give her a gun. Imagine your Shibito with a gun. Oh. There are all of this. You don't have to imagine such a thing. Because there are... Well, no. In this version of this stage, there is one of them over here. Alright, Nico, time to show off your uh, MLG delete sniping skills. I need you to do a 360 no-scope headshot right now. Not exactly a headshot, but this is important. Eh, close enough. You need, you need to absolutely get rid of his sniper rifle. Uh, just, just give him any any melee weapon. He's going to be way less dangerous if you give him the if you give if you take away his sniper rifle. 
Especially since he, like, immediately got back up. Jesus. That's not him, that's another one. There's just a lot oh, of them. Okay. Uh, sniper rifle is not great at close range, and as you can see, we also do not have any extra ammo for it. But also, we do not want to leave it with any of the Shibito, because Shibito, um, they all magically know how to operate a gun. And they all have infinite ammo. They, that they do. And there's actually a trick that you can use uh, in order to take advantage of that. Let them have a gun and then immediately kill them and then your gun will be back to full. Uh, let them have a gun. Uh, you're close there, uh, but you have to actually wait for them to reload it and then kill them immediately. Ah. Uh. It's hard to... There are some situations where you can pull that off. With, especially with certain characters um, who have special abilities that make it uh, that make these sorts of things easier. Um, but yeah, this is the easy way of doing this. Uh, I don't believe she can actually die from this because uh, uh, yeah, it's like or or like you really would have to try to not be able to hit them. P plus, she's pretty good at running away from them. But yeah, you, the Shibito will reload a gun, regardless if they had a gun before, and then you can pick it up from them, and it will be full on ammo. But in most situations... Uh, just... Speaking of saving girls from spooks, mm -hmm. uh, where's our first protagonist, the guy who looks like Otakon? Yeah. Uh, you mean Mamoru? Yeah, him. Where'd he go? Did he die? N no, no, no. We just haven't done too many missions with him. Um, and here is, uh, here is like the my third attempt at this. This is why there was a cut there, and this is also where you get checkpointed after doing that. Now, because I got checkpointed, the guy who had the, snipe, uh, the sniper rifle, he's back up to having a sniper rifle again. So... But I also do not super care to get rid of him for now. Because it's more important that I... Uh, well, they get rid of her uh, her weapon and not give her not give her a fucking sniper rifle. Why not give all of them sniper rifles? That's what the that's what they that's what they pretty much went for in the first Forbidden Siren. Too many sniper rifles. Oh Jesus. Too many guns, too many flying enemies, too many, too much bullshit. But yeah, here I was scavenging for flares. Because you need them in order to clear a secondary objective. But yeah, these doors are now open that we have, uh, that we helped uh, Yuri. And as you can see, uh, some of the objectives have already been cleared. Yeah, some of the missions will actually have multiples. But I don't think they ever go further than two. But I can be mistaken, it's just kind of like... That's about as much space as there is on the map, so that feels logical, you know? It would be pretty clutter other cluttered otherwise. But yeah, Yuri, uh, you can actually side the jack around for her. Uh, she eventually uh, goes all the way down to uh, the uh, control room. Yeah, do not care. Uh, the thing about this lady is determined, man. As I told you, she is the worst of them all. Okay. 
So this is why you want to leave her with the the worst weapon there is. So the knife. Or preferably something even worse, however, he, we, we just... Leave her with a shoehorn. I wish that was an option. You want to pick this one up? And there are several... Uh, oh no, I may be thinking of... See, she's already back up. And I didn't see her because, well... That perception... I pretty much covered her all. Remove Kimono from the game. She, like, she gets back up so fast, it's ridiculous. And she's already Is getting that back. her already? No, that's not her. Oh my her. god. <laughs> but she will be here very soon. Don't worry about her. Also, uh, something uh, something else I wanted to mention, uh, because she's a uh, she's a unique Shibito, and thus she also does not exactly follow the rules of other Shibito, which just walk around in circles in a given location with a very specific uh, you know with a very specific pattern. She does not follow a pattern. She's very she's very random. Also, sometimes. Uh, because this is a problem that I had first uh, first time going through the stage. Uh, the door leading to the front deck may be closed. Uh, if that is the case, you have to actually wait for the kimono girl to open it. You have to wait for her to randomly walk up there and open it. Although she does go there rather quickly as one of her biggest, uh, so to say, um, most important objectives. Because she hates Yuri. She's not into that sort of stuff. <laughs> you know, given what we've seen so far, I have to wonder. And I would totally support this, by the way. Mm -hmm. What if, what if they made a new Dino Crisis and it was made by the people who made Forbidden Siren 2? That that would be that would be interesting, very different. But I think they would take it. I mean, it's not like it's not like the uh, people from Project Siren exactly have a very uh, very specific comfort zone, right? Because I mean, they because they pretty much they, they made uh, an open world. Uh, superhero adventure game about being a French girl with a cat who manipulates gravity. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. But yeah, eventually um, eventually the Himeno girl uh, will always end up here trying to, uh, trying to kill Yuri. And when she goes there, uh, she does not leave. So you actually are kind of on a time limit on this mission. getting eaten up by darkness. There. It's alright, just turn a few degrees to your left and you burn it away. Hmm, I didn't know you can actually get a running start by crouching first. Well, now you know. Now you know. And knowing is half the battle. I don't think I'll ever use that ability, though. She be toting. But yeah, now we have to uh, go to the exit location, which is thankfully marked on the map. Or... So I thought. Because it looks like it's marked here, but it's not. It's not actually where you're supposed to go. 
we're actually supposed to go is uh, actually rem uh, remember where uh, uh, where the Japanese uh, schoolgirl started? Yes. That is where we need to go. Ah. Uh, and then. And then what? Well, because Discord this is screwed up. In any case, this time I'm taking a smarter approach. I turn off my. I turn off my uh, light. In order to kill him. I think uh, I, I may actually have my uh, brightness settings set up a little bit too high for this game because, uh, well, like the um, the settings in the game suggested that I would uh, make it <laughs> a lot more dark and then I was like, but you know, encoding and also I like to actually be able to see stuff. Besides, this game is an encoding nightmare as it is, what with its uh, uh, weird movie grain. And now, as you can see, this elevator right. does not work. Remember, remember that elevator obsessed uh, Shibito. Yeah. Ah. We could. Uh, this is the funny part. We, we you could actually um, see him. Uh, you could actually like see him do this, uh, like stand right in front of something, but you weren't sure exactly what it was. Now here I was trying to use the butt of a of the gun in order to hit this, in order to hit this uh, window, but there are reasons why I never remembered to use this ability. It just does not trigger very well. It, like you need to be right in front of a target for it to for it to work right. Uh. And now that he's not standing right in front of the for, uh, right in between the uh, doors of the elevator, which you can actually see before, but like well, well, it were just it, those were just uh, several stripes. It could have been anything. But then when you call up the elevator, it actually is trying to close down and just does not work. Which I thought was uh, quite interesting. Would you stop being so obsessed about light? That's a good touch, actually. And now he's actually standing, o uh, standing over there. Let's just unload, this is the end of the mission anyway. Release Yuri! Be careful. Find a place to hide. I'll be back for you. Okay. Mission accomplished. She's back in the wild, where she belongs. Of course. 